So these cookies are actually called orange snaps. And for some reason, for the last two weeks, I have been calling them orange crisps. It is not until editing that I realized they were not actually called orange crisps. And I'm just like, that can't be right. They're totally called orange crisps. But no, apparently orange crisps are a cookie that come in in, I believe, the Blackberry Pie murder. So imagine my surprise. But this week's cookies are orange snaps, not orange crisps. These cookies do have to chill. It says a minimum of two hours overnight is even better. We are not preheating the ovens. What you're going to need is one and a half cups of melted butter. That's three sticks. Two cups of white sugar. Half a cup frozen orange juice concentrate. I use Minute Maid. Now, I know it says frozen orange juice concentrate. I get that. But I don't think you can mix a frozen block into cookie dough. So I thawed mine out. I think that's what you're supposed to do. That's what I'm doing. I, it, it doesn't actually say to thaw it, but that's that's what common sense is telling me. Mine might be wrong. Okay, so you're going to need two beaten eggs. Just beat them up with a fork. Four teaspoons of baking soda. One teaspoon of salt. Half to one teaspoon orange zest. The orange zest adds a burst of flavor. Zest is finely grated orange peel. Just the orange part, not the white. You can use a grater to scrape peel from an orange or a zester, which removes thin layers of peel and strips. If you use a zester, you'll have to finely chop the strips of peel with a knife. Four cups of flour. You don't have to sift it. And one third cup white sugar for later. Like I said, you'll be covering it and tossing it into the fridge for a while. Other than the chilling it part, it says yield approximately 10 dozen thin cookies, depending on cookie size, which is where the snap part of the name comes in, I assume. And then it says Tracy loves these cookies, and she's almost managed to convince Andrea that she can have them in place of orange juice for breakfast. That is what we are going to be making today. Everything's laid out in the kitchen. Let's get in there and get started. Here is everything we're gonna need for today. Quick, simple, probably have everything already on hand. So we have our melted butter on our mixer. To this, we're adding the two cups of sugar, as well as the half a cup of orange juice concentrate. Now that it's all combined, it does say to let this cool off slightly before adding the eggs. And this is still very warm for melting the butter, so I'm going to give it about three minutes. Now that the butter, sugar, and orange juice has cooled down slightly, we're going to add in our two beaten eggs. Also says to add the four teaspoons of baking soda, the one teaspoon of salt, and the half of a teaspoon to a teaspoon of orange zest. I'm using a whole teaspoon just so we see what it is. <music> Next thing we're going to do, it says to add the flour and the increments and mix thoroughly. So, shaking about a cup at a time. Started off looking like an orange curd, now it's looking more like a pancake batter. So now, I'm just going to scrape everything down and get the rim of the bowl mixed in. because There's a lot of flour just sitting at the top. This is definitely very wet. This, this, as it sits now, would not make a cookie. It wouldn't make a dough ball at all. It would just spread out like a pancake. Refrigerating is more than just a blending of the flavors. It is an absolute necessity for this cookie. This is our stuff right now. This is what we're left with. Now I'm just going to cover this and put it in the fridge for about, it says at least two to overnight. I'm thinking it's probably going to get closer to three and a half. We are back. It is about four hours later. So we have our dough. Now we got to scoop it, roll it up, toss it in the sugar. It's a lot more manageable than it was this morning, for sure. Here 
here is the first set. So I'm just going to finish rolling them up and putting them in the sugar and on the trays and flattening them out. We will get a final count and I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, with this recipe, we ended up with six dozen, which is 72 cookies. They will go in the 350 oven for 10 to 12 minutes and they'll cool for two minutes before going on the wire racks to finish. They say they freeze well, roll them up in foil, put them in a freezer bag, and they'll be fine for three months if they last that long. Uh, one other thing with these cookies, I recommend baking as you scoop and not laying them out like this because the dough got really, really soft. All right, here we have all of the cookies baked off. Here is the front and the back. pretty much exactly what I thought it was going to be. It tastes like a sugar cookie with a hint of orange. A little more than a hint. It's not like, I'm an orange cookie. But it's a lot less than what I thought it was going to be with a teaspoon of zest in it. Because I was going to half to a full teaspoon. I'm like, that's quite a bit of a difference. But I wanted to do the full teaspoon to know if it'd be too overpowering to go that way. And it's not, I think these are perfect. They're actually really good for summer, which is what we're coming up on. They're not too sweet. They're not too crunchy. They're just like a perfect little snack cookie, which is exactly what I, I would say for these. They're a perfect summer snack cookie. They're light, they're refreshing. They have just that little bit of crunch. I will say the dough balls, were a very light cream color. The ones that came out of the oven were very brown, like brown. So I, I was worried that they were getting too done. But no, the, these taste perfect. Next week, the next recipe in the book was for cottage cheese pancakes. I'm not making those. They're not a baked item. They're not on my list to be done. But the one after that is the pineapple right side up cookie bars. So those sound good. And I know in my house, they're a big fan of the pineapple upside down cake. So I am sure they will not last. No matter how they turn out, I'm sure they'll get eaten. But if you're interested in seeing those and how they turn the cake into the cookie bar, Join us next week on the Cookie Jar. Bye, guys. Have a good week.